assalamu alaikum students uh, welcome you and my ayub uh, tv channel uh, you know ayub uh, tv channel always provide authentic and reliable and realistic news about the openings of the educational institutes and their po educational policies education ministers uh, announcements and uh, hsc policies and government policies about the educations now there is very burning point and burning topic or uh, openings of the as uh, institutes all uh, you channels of the youtube uh, uh, attracting the students and after uh, one hour and one day giving information about opening of the institutes i give information authentic realistic and with my views and opinions about the policies of the government now in this video i am sharing some important points with you about openings of the universities i have image about uh, blur uh, are edited uh, but still not uh, visible and you i explain uh, what is the hsc policies about the openings of the educational institutes in pakistan or uh, sorry uh, openings of the universities in pakistan hsc meet with the uh, all pakistan uh, vice chancellors approximately 100 to more than 155 uh, vice chancellors were there when they meet with hsc vice chancellors of the pakistan hsc make the policies uh, to be possibility and make sure the sops for student safety on campus and in hostels and uh, class students uh, is possible with the sops now people are giving fake uh, uh, news about openings of the universities but uh, what our uh, was the press release and meetings of that to see with the uh, vice chancellors of uh, uh, pakistan all over the country universities they get one stands asopias but uh hsc recommend there must be asopis applications in hostels in transportations and in attendings of the classes uh, physically in on campus and those people have get the educations in universities and those people visit the universities and those people uh, faculty members of the universities they know very well how much universities of the pakistan hostels and classes and universities overloaded and crowded pakistan have uh not enough number of the uh, universities for providing the education of pakistani huge number of a population that's why they are overcrowded many universities in pakistan have no hostels in either uh, reputed uh, universities of islamabad and uh, rawalpindi have no accommodations their students get attack accommodations in private hostels uh, if uh, i'm talking about uh, i is very lengthy topic I, if i talked about the one by one uh, uh, to the institutions and one by one the province but overall as educationist and as a um, phd scholar and uh, and, and large uh, 
number of years experience of my of uh, educational uh, institute teaching is that I am not enough number of the educational institutes, specifically universities in Pakistan. They are crowded, a huge number of uh, students in the universities. They have lack of the facilities of the hostel. When there are uh, new uh, sessions start in the uh, universities, they um, set the common rooms where uh, they are uh, a finalist uh, students uh, uh, not set, uh, get, uh, set free and uh, to leave the hostels they accommodate their newcomers in common rooms. In common rooms uh, 150 uh, students uh, they accommodate in one, in one room. How they can manage with uh, oldest, finalist and new session students in uh, uh, um, hostels with SOPS is very uh, unrealistic and is very hard in current situation in uh, COVID pandemic and um, with the uh, current policy of the uh, HSC and government. HSC and government uh, recommend uh, follow SOPS and where is the grant where is the facility financial aid of the institute for universities they implement the SOPS they generate the fundings they uh, hire uh, they um, get uh, the rented builded new rented buildings and they increase their capacity for accommodating the uh, students in hostels with SOPS and as well accommodating uh, the on campus starting the classes of the uh, university students with the SOPS uh, are they have a capacity no and still now uh, the students are confused faculty members are confused and very miserable situation this is a pandemic COVID pandemic and still have no authentic approved medicines Pakistan severity and nature of the uh, coronavirus is not severe in Pakistan, less severe nature of the coronavirus in Pakistan, but still have the risk factor, the life of uh, Pakistan is uh, by coronavirus still now. And mm, we are, uh, um, I'm not, my not this topic, but uh, we educated people is not considering the risk factor of a coronavirus and not uh, uh, following the SOPS anywhere else in our life as well in educational institutes uh, latest news 16 educational institutes have closed in a KPK just in a KPK one in uh, Islamabad three in uh, uh, Punjab and uh, Murad Saheed Education Minister of Sindh uh, decided to not close either university schools and colleges because coronavirus is spreading more than 6,000 new cases in uh, Pakistan against why no implication on SOPS openings all ma uh, shopping malls, markets and restaurants and uh, picnic sports and uh, as well educational institutes they are uh, thinking to opening of the educational institutes and they have opens uh, uh, mm, for uh, Shia uh, to uh, openly hold their jalouses and etc. This is, is the not reasonable but because we not uh, we are not following this OPS. Any of my concern uh, about the openings of the universities Stu dear students don't be confused and don't be worried I have a thing in the hand of Allah but our government is not serious they uh, hand mouthing faculties they hand mouthing students and uh, they are uh, spoiling the futures of other nation our new generations uh, they will get the degrees uh, by online examinations and physical whatever also be possible and uh, ordered by the government uh, teachers and faculty members and administrations of the educational institutes will follow it but a realistic situation is totally different uh, this 
reality is uh, totally different uh, to the idealistic situation online exams uh, not, not my concerns but uh, opening of the uh, university is very hard in current situation you think about it is very hard opening of the uh, universities educational institutes in current situation and with current situations of the institutes if they are increase uh, the capacity of uh, educational institute not modified and not provide the facilities is very hard this government just looking the god help us without any strategies and uh, technical assistance providing of the educational institute they are spoiling the uh, future of uh, students students uh, as guess you you uh, get uh, by heart with the uh, hard work education you uh, are getting from anywhere else to online whatsapp uh, groups or anywhere else is available because in current situation opening of the institute is very hard if they are well open uh, spreading of the coronavirus uh, but closed because Uh, they are not generating the fundings and financial aids of the institutions for increasing their capacity for accommodations for transport partitions and online campus classes for online campus classes you you have the same building where will go the students where are when one just for one uh, one um, uh, program bs have 120 Hundred students for just one semester, and two hundred semester, ah, two hundred students for just one semester of BS, one second, third, and fourth, whatever. Then how ah uh, your building is the same. You can increase the sessions. You can hire ah uh, extra faculty members for taking the classes in different sessions. Then is all possible. Uh, otherwise impossible in same capacity uh, government have to do increase the capacity of the building faculty members and etc uh, uh, we are looking uh, government is not interesting for investing the uh, money and uh, providing the financial assistance and aid of the educational institutes for uh, quality education but just they want to stamps quality of educations by examinations not promoting this and develop uh, you know students very well than me uh, you are watching and observing and facing the situation uh, but uh, situation is uh, very crucial and uh, words uh, through my channel i request to authorities and hsc government please be realistic and uh in the base of the facts and figures judge the situations and open the institutes with enhancing the capacities of the educational institutes in uh, regard of uh, their buildings uh, their uh, faculty members and each and everything then will be possible then will be possible reopening of the institutions otherwise this will just your dream and green posture you are sh showing and telling to your students and faculties and educational institutes be sincere and genuine and sympathetic and realistic to take bold decisions and uh, on the base of the real grounds and uh, take step in times don't waste time of the students and don't waste Uh, the energies of the students and don't spoil the new generation thank you very much hopefully uh, this video will be effective and bring some changes in our educational policies student i have best wishes best wishes for you those people be promoted in new semesters and giving the physical exam those i appreciate them they are giving their 
physical exams on the risk of their lives a faculty stated by me i stood these faculties and students not protest and giving the physical exams all will getting the online classes i uh, wish uh, best of the wishes for all of the students and faculty members thank you very much